But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure. It Excuse me, can you a liquid? Can right? I have? Could I buy three atmospheres? <laughs> How much uh, is that? Six bucks? That's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. Hey, it's the ga it's the thing I just explained. But also, yeah. you don't know about you don't know what atmospheres are. I didn't know you could count. Like I didn't know atmosphere was like a a, a yeah. countable thing. The normal the normal air pressure on Earth that we just normally experience is yes. one atmosphere. And so, what, have actually, we ever found like several atmosphere, like yeah, a seven atmosphere planet? It's, uh, actually, uh, one of the ways that helped me contextualize this is the fact that when I was playing Mass Effect, you would scan all the different planets and go around on them. They'll tell you the atmospheric pressure of every planet you go to in that sidebar thing that shows that pops oh, up. Oh, I didn't read so that. So they're, like, they're all like, this is 0.8 ATM, and this is 1.3 ATM and stuff like that. And that's just, it just has more or less air pressure than Earth. 1.3? Yeah. I mean, that means it has 30% higher uh, atmospheric pressure. And like a 2 ATM would be double and stuff like that. Wait. So... It's just like how you deal with the... It wouldn't be like, like one, two, three, four, five. It's a ratio. Oh. So one is Earth, two is double Earth, 0. 0.5 is half Earth. It's like a fraction. Okay. So like if something has 1.3 ATM, it's very... then it's 30% higher atmospheric pressure than Earth. Very small-minded measurement system and just that... based only on Earth. You yeah. can't just find like a... We better... do that a lot. We named our Earth Earth and our sun Sun. So like, we, we really think we're hot shit. <laughs> But yeah, like if you have like a gas tank, it, you have a you have a measurable pressure in the, like a in like a. I've just never seen gas tank. pressure, or I guess I've never seen like propane being a point, like a zero point something. I always see yeah. it as like. Well, there's other ways of measuring it too. I always see it as like whole numbers. That's why it yeah. was confusing. There's a lot of way, there's multiple ways of measuring all things, but atmosphere is one of them. I didn't know you can measure an atmosphere. That's silly. Yeah, it's, it's well, silly it's just you just measure air pressure of our atmosphere. You don't have to worry about it because other planets don't have atmosphere. <laughs> a lot of them don't. A lot of them have a lot of atmosphere, like fucking Jupiter. Does it? It's a lot of atmosphere. I didn't know Jupiter has it's atmosphere. Like all atmosphere, it's like all it is. Oh, it's you just need an atmosphere floating in space. <laughs> I thought, I thought atmosphere... atmosphere does not mean it's livable. I thought that's what it meant. I no. thought atmosphere meant it was hospitable. No, it's just the stuff that's above the Earth. <laughs> that's like part clouds? Of... Yeah. So it just has like... That's part of a celestial body is the gases and stuff that are in it. So it just has... Because like stuff like Jupiter... So Jupiter just has a bunch of fucking clouds, but no oxygen? I mean, Jupiter's basically just clouds. A whole planet? Yeah. Oh, is it a planet then? You know that you know that most of the planets outside of the... Uh, the, the, the oz Or the uh, outside asteroid of the belt? asteroid belt are gas giants. For re they're called gas giants because they're basically just balls of gas. There's like no solid to them. Not really. There might be some, there might be cores in some of them. It's kind of hard to tell, or I'm out of date. But also, the sun. Wait, can is we just, a gas giant? Can we just drive through them? The gas is just a giant, very dense cloud. We could just drive through Saturn. Uh, good luck. Good luck. What? It's <laughs> it's not. You said it's just gas. Well, it's significant, significantly higher uh, pressure and significantly higher uh, gravity than an Earth, I think. So is it like actually solid? And some of these because plants have constant storms inside them, and like lightning storms, and like really dangerous they have problems. A lightning storm around gas? That's so weird. How is that weird? You because okay, so you had lightning. Like, you know, so, lightning storms so, are already just caused by like no, charge differences in gas. Clouds. I'm saying that like so. There's a fart in space, and that fart has such dense gravity that it's like it looks like a solid fart. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so. <laughs> and so <laughs> So that solid <laughs> fart is sitting there, and on that fart, there's like a cloud that's right, that's like doing a lightning storm on the fart. There's like it's a not on the fart. It's inside the fart. Oh, it's in the fart. Wait, is there a our atmosphere is a single continuous thing? Is there a planet? All with the part you can see through is still the atmosphere too. It's not just the clouds. Yeah, but is is there like an actual chunk of solid inside of Saturn, or is Saturn? There may or may not be, but lightning doesn't have to hit a solid. What? You just have a thunderstorm floating out in fucking space? Have you never seen lightning storms before? In space? They have, no, just on Earth. They often don't, yeah, but they often don't even go near the surface. What I'm saying? They don't fly out in the fucking space. They're often just random bolts of lightning going in random directions on the sky. Well, the point I'm making is that, that it seems weird that gas could have an atmosphere. The gas is the atmosphere. Wait, Saturn is just atmosphere? There's nothing else there? Plus or minus a core I may not know about, but yeah, it's most. they're mostly gas places then how does it have fucking color and it's just clouds yeah they can have color we have clouds that are white like those are a color look i'm when you look at saturn it's like fucking yellow and shit 
Is there is there's like a copious amount of piss in the in the ground that's sucking up it's, in the clouds? It, I mean, it has to do with its chemical makeup and also how light interacts with said makeup and when it's passing through it and stuff like that or bouncing off of it. The fucking stupid. Light, light's weird. Just get rid of them then. What? You can't live on Saturn then if it's just fucking gas. Uh, not really. No, that's why. That's the entire premise of of uh, Empire Strikes Back with the with the cloud city. They're on a planet that's a gas giant. They can't go down to the surface. There isn't one. Why would you do? Just get rid of it. Because they mine the re they mine resources from those planets. So there's a ground. No, I mean they. I mean they. 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 They mine the gas. There's gases that gases can be resources. Just put a fucking you giant can, you vacuum. Can want, you can want helium and whatnot. You could, but just put a vacuum in there and then just suck it all up and put it in a bottle and fly away. Get rid yeah, of the. Yeah, but they live there. It's their. They have a port. Just get rid of the fucking. It's a waste of space. Then just get a new Why? one. Why? What? You could put like a moon there or something. You can make an artificial planet. You can make what? It, what the fuck are you saying? I'm just saying there's like a. Wait, what? There's a perfectly good waste of space in our fucking solar system because there's fart in the air, and I don't want this giant fart sitting there orbiting the sun for no reason. Your concern is that gas planets to make take up too much space? Yeah. Do you know how big space is? Not big enough. It's like infinitely space. Well, I don't want it's infinite. Like, I don't want infinite even amounts of space the solar filled system, with. It's inc incomprehensibly large. But I don't want it filled with fucking farts. I just get the, <laughs> get them out of there. <laughs> this is the dumbest conversation I've ever had. But I know I taught you things, and I feel good about that. Because <laughs> I taught, I did teach you things today. That's what all of my teachers wrote on my report cards. Yeah, it's like that's what all your teachers thought. I'm like, fuck it, I taught them something. <laughs> and I probably taught someone in the audience something too. So and why are we I, talking other, about? And other people are mad at me for being wrong. I didn't know that solid states could be gaseous. Yeah, uh, so they need some tums. I think somebody in a previous in a, a few sentences ago said at ATM, and you questioned measuring atmosphere. So I explained that, and then we got the gas giants, and we've been just doing a podcast for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what this series is, is podcast with the side of visual novel. I can't just, I mean, it, I, we've said this before at this point in the series, but I can't just sit here and press A in silence for like three hours and then not say anything. So like this is the form the series takes for the better or worst. And, I mean, I was, and I'm having fun. It's better than <laughs> listening to fucking June talk about mummies. If I'm having fun, hopefully other people are having fun. God. <laughs> See, that is weird. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? I really feel There's fucking kind stupid. Of why? I don't know this by default. Why do people know this by default? It goes default? above 32 degrees. You don't know the melting. You don't know the uh, boiling point and freezing points of water. No. A lot of people know that. Really? Yeah. Shit. A lot of people at least know 32 degrees is where it freezes. And if you cook, and if you cook with water, you probably know at some point that it, it boils like at that point above hundred and everything. I feel like I my the way my brain works is kind of useless. Like yeah, I know it's really. What can, happened to your good memory of numbers from the beginning of the series? No, I, I have a like, good memory of numbers. Wrong? I can't remember like that's that's actually concise information though. So like thirty two degrees is the melting point of something. I don't remember that anymore. I remember freezing point. I remember oh, and melt. Yeah, right, and melting because where the ice melts. Because that's the thing is like I. I won't remember the rest of that. I'll remember the number 32, but I won't but remember the why? rest of the information. That all goes away. So, like, I can convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, but I can't remember what things freeze or melt at because that's that's extra information my brain won't, like, remember. Can you convert Celsius to Fahrenheit? You know that much? Uh, yeah. So, I know, like, thir like, uh, like, uh, what? 100 is 32 Celsius? So, 100 degrees is 32 Celsius, I want to say? No. Or no, it's 30 Celsius? Wait, I'm thinking about it backwards. Thirty-two, uh, the freezing point of water, thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit, is also zero degrees Celsius. Yeah. So. Oh, so it's off by thirty. It's not off by thirty. There's like a, you, have to, you have to you have to you have to filter the refraction. Oh, okay. It's fucked. Because I was gonna say I know I do know that like a hundred like a hundred. You have to like multiply it by a fraction of like something over something, and then also add it or subtract a number. It's a two-step process to converting. Yeah, it's really frustrating. I want to say so. Yeah. I have gone a long way without ever, ever actually remembering it, and I I still have to look it up because of how rarely I have to convert. Well, I'm I'm ashamed. I still don't know how, when, or what temperature things freeze or melt at. Not even from earlier this conversation. You forgot already. Thirty-two. And that's for what water. Yeah, and what is it? 
What about what does it do? What does it do at thirty two? That's all I got for today, folks. It melts. I heard about it. Its melting point is ninety six degrees. Well, not water. Ice oh. with a melting point of ninety six degrees. You mean there's water that freezes at ninety six degrees? Yeah. Well. You could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called right. Ice 9. <laughs> it's the number 9 again. Chotamate! Chotamate! <laughs> somebody sat here, like somebody fucking sat here and was like, how much things... Maybe they just Google the number 9. How much things end with 9? Maybe they have a Google alert, tra alert tracker for the number 9. Some asshole sat here and was like, we're going to put ice in a freezer, but that ice is going to be called Ice 9. <laughs> and some guy was like, good, it keeps with that 9 thing I want going. <laughs> like, God damn it. Ice 9? Ice 9, baby. Originally, Ice 9 was a made-up substance invented by a science fiction author. But recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. <gasps> Wait, Was he auto-writing? <laughs> God damn it, don't bring back <laughs> auto-writing, I can't take it. It's auto-writing, and when everyone saw the auto-writing, their uh, ability to identify Ice-9 went up by 2%. <laughs> so is this thing called Ice-9, or is it water? Like I said, Both. if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. I mean, so you could think of it as ice a polymorph still water. of H2O. Polymorph? <laughs> you think polymorph means something else, don't you? Doesn't that just mean it can transform? It's like a multi... Uh, what's it called? It's like you just take multiple shapes? I'm pretty sure polymorph is this is uh, a different molecular structure that has the same molecular contents. So it would still be H2O, and then it's two hydrogen, one oxygen, but it looks, but it's a different shape than the normal like weird little bent line shape that so it normally like takes. like a ditto. <laughs> like a ditto. So a ditto is still a yeah, ditto, but like it looks. Yeah, it's like a Pikachu, but it's got a frowny face on it. Yeah, it's just, it's still a ditto, but it just looks like a Pikachu. Yeah. Well. Well, it's not, it's not, well, no, it is, it is water still. That's what I'm saying, it it's still, different. it's still a ditto. It just looks oh. like a Pikachu. Where you're talking, where in this metaphor, uh, water is, the, is ditto. Yeah. And Pikachu is something else. Yeah, so it just kind looks, of. it looks like something else, but it's still water at the end of yeah. the day. Except it's not a copy of something, because the Pikachu doesn't exist. Well, it's just something. you new. know what yeah. I'm saying, though. The it's a very confusing metaphor, but yeah. I got it. The I concept, yeah. Here. Think of it like diamonds and graphite. Oh, or she'll just give us That is idea. the perfect example, yeah, basically. I, diamonds and graphite are literally just carbon. I'll believe They're made you. of carbon. They're I'll both made you. of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of the crystallization, oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. Although my issue here is that from talking about polymorphs and water, uh, I am so I lost. Know, the issue I take here... I did not focus on any of this in school. We talked about polymorphs, I thought we were talking about molecular structure, but we're talking about crystal structure now, like on a geologic scale, like that's... That's different. a little different, isn't it? Isn't it's that not, like over it's time? Not, it's not the... It doesn't talk about the... the. It doesn't talk about the structure of the individual molecule. It's literally how the molecules are attaching to each other. Well, yeah, because isn't... Like with ro or with rocks, isn't it based on a lot more factors than just... Because, like, molecules are just the way they well, no, are. It's, it's more like, well, we're, but, talking about, we're talking about the structure of the crystallization, so in this way case, we're kind of talking about, like, fitting different Legos together. Yeah. Like, if you have one, like, we're just talking about carbon here, so it's really simple. So imagine you have one, you just have one Lego type. Yes. And there, you have a giant pool of one type of Lego, and you're just attaching them to each other in a regular pattern. So, like, imagine on one of them, you just, like, it's like the two-by-three Lego, and you just stick, like... You just stick it to the end of uh, over the last two of it sideways or something. Yeah. And then you're just rotating around and you just fill it in that way in that regular pattern. And then the uh, then you go back and you f do it slightly different. Like maybe you do like the three on one side and then you just go lengthwise straight down it and match it that way. It's so, like you're just fitting it together two different ways, then fitting that then following the regular pattern forever. That would be those would be polymorphs of each other basically. They're different crystallizations of the same of the same uh, base component. Okay. And the idea here is that it's, uh, this is where, 
I'm just gonna give it as an example without knowing for sure if it's true or not, but it, like, let's say that like, graphite is an easier state to accomplish. It's just, it takes less energy to become a graphite crystal, and like, so it's just like, they just clump together and it's easy, the, the lazy way. But then the other way takes more energy to create, which is the diamond. And so when you so that means that if you took graphite and put it under great pressure, the added energy could recrystallize the structure as diamond. It's literally just a different way of fitting it together, but so you're of, saying the temperature. Because, so the temperature is what changes. Not necessarily like, temperature, but pressure. Well, no, no. For rocks, both, for rocks, it's pressure. But I'm it, saying it can for, be both basically. But for yeah. ice nine, it's temperature that changes its state. Kind of, yeah. But so like it changes it from H two O that looks different to H two O that looks normal by temperature. Yeah. But and for, you're so saying the, the crystallization is by pressure. What, so, so like one, one of the reasons why things have different structures like this is because like you have you heard about like how the universe favors entropy and it wants to decay and fall apart and yes. it goes to low it goes to lowest possible energy states whenever it can. Yeah. It's lazy. So if something's gonna fit together, it's gonna fit together on the laziest way possible unless something's acting on it to force it into a higher state. Yeah, which is what like that's like the elements so that we have that we've created. The non-natural elements on our table are elements that we force together. Yeah, because so the idea too lazy here is that regular water that we know yes. just generates normally, but like in a lab or under extreme conditions, like ice nine could happen. Yeah, and then that's weirdly apparently a very hard to melt ice. So, so that's what never the heard of before. So that's what but the mummy was made out of. Is, is making sense kind of. That's what what's made of. That's what the mummy was made out of. <laughs> we can't keep going back to the mummy. He, yeah. Uh. Por favor. <laughs> That's not what one sec means, is it? Uh, isn't that, uh, <laughs> is it, no, what's the word for hold on? Uh, I know the Japanese one. Chotto mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought it was. Por favor, basically please. That's please. But I thought it was something, what is, what is the word before por favor? Uno momento. Por isn't, favor. No, isn't that what? Isn't that what your name? No. No mo, momento. Uno momento. Uno momento. Yeah. Is is that it? That's one moment, please. Why do I know more Spanish than you? You took Spanish. Look, I took German. I can't. Are you remember serious that. right now? I, I couldn't remember that. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Right I don't know now? why I couldn't remember that. I. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I will I will admit <laughs> that it has been a while since I've had to use it, so I'm probably getting really rusty on it. Uh I know it, I just don't <laughs> want to. I'm so confused by you. I do. Well look. I've been learning French. <laughs> like I've been every day for like the past You're three be months. Quadlingual. You're gonna know English, Spanish, French, and Japanese. Well, no, I'm only gonna be uh, trilingual <laughs> because I'm not gonna speak one of them. So it's useless <laughs> to even acknowledge it. I took the journal out of my pocket and handed it to Fi. She began to flip through the pages, her eyes quickly scanning each one. This is Latin. <laughs> <laughs> no oh one. my god, Wait. how can you have a fucking religious cult if you don't even believe in Latin? None of them could read Latin, could recognize Latin? I mean, I, Keith, Read is one thing, but recognize? <laughs> how can Sigma not know Latin when his fucking name is Sigma? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's not a Latin letter, it's a Greek letter. Yeah, but Greek is just, it's based on Latin. Like very, it's, uh, it's, it's like the closest it's, you get. It is funny that both of them have Greek letters for names. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like Latin. Well, yeah, no, but she did. But yeah, but then she the, was like, and, is and, it yeah, Latin? Like, like religious cult character can't recognize Latin either. Like, yeah, <laughs> uh, you don't even have to read it, but surely you could recognize Latin. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they have to know supposed, how to read it. I think it. it's supposed to be harder to recognize because the game's for Japanese people. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, that'd be stupid. Why would that be stupid? Latin's not... It's on top of being like a written like le like letter language instead of whatever you call not letter languages. <laughs> but it's like an obscure one at that. 
So it might be even crazier to Japanese people? No, 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 they would know. Whereas they would like know most, it's Latin. I feel like most English speakers would just be like, hey, look, it's Latin. I can't read it. No, no, actually. <laughs> like they're like, it's all we, like Anno Domino and shit. <laughs> we would be less likely to recognize Latin than a Japanese person would. Why? Because Japanese people, when they take English classes, go from Latin to... Uh, uh, Latin is not English. <laughs> no, 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 shut <laughs> mouth. They use Latin to explain a lot of the English. What does that mean? It means like when they're trying to, uh, cause, okay, never mind. I'm not going to get into this. No, fucking, uh, you can't just, no, no, no look, you're already into it. Look bad, up, okay, look up the, uh, at home viewers, pause the video and look up the, uh, the, the, <laughs> Doing a great job right now. Fucking beginning of Ro of uh, Romanji coming into existence, and uh, or not Romanji when um when uh yeah when Romanji yeah when Romanji came into into Japanese language when the f Dutch showed up in the very 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 long time ago. So when they first had encounters with the Europeans, and then the creation of like Romanized. Romanized, as they call them, characters, uh, came about. Then there was a time where they were taught like Latin and then English. Oh my god. And so then there was like a thing where they just kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of correlate the two together. Like it's. Oh my god. In any case, god. it's very likely a Japanese person would be more likely to recognize Latin than an American. We would most likely think it was, uh... Spanish? N what are you more likely to think it is than Spanish? I was trying to think of how... No, uh... I mean, there's other languages you could think it is. Like? <laughs> Give me one better example than Spanish. German? No. German is so off from Latin. Well, I mean, in characters, don't, doesn't, doesn't, uh, European, or... We literally refer to Spanish cultures as Latin. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we, like, we literally call them that. You realize that, right? No. <laughs> like Latin Americans? <laughs> they're, they're not Latin, though. Do you, are you not familiar with this? No. What? I'm not familiar with the Latin American Or Latino? Thing. I never actually thought about where that came from. <laughs> Wait, have you never heard of Latin America? No, I've heard of Latin America, I just don't know where it is. It's all- it's pretty much the Spanish part. <laughs> the Spanish-speaking area of, of the- of the- of the uh, American continents. Wait, so it's just like- Latin like, America. Just like Mexico? <laughs> Oh, we're learning things today. Isn't that just South America? Is that what you're talking about? I mean, Mexico's not in South America. Excuse me, what? Then where is it? D what? D are you serious? It's not part of North America. Yes, it is. It is? Yes. I thought we changed that. <laughs> what? I thought we, like, got rid of that. It's based on how the continents are shaped. Yeah. So what, like, America ends, and that's the end of... There's no continent shape there. Yeah, there is. The bottom of America is just an arbitrary line. That's the whole reason why we have so much there's just shit like a... going on about the no, border. No, there's just like an island in between that's America the... what? and... Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? In between America and, and uh, South America. I mean, we just cut fucking Mexico off, it's and not, they just kind of no. It's hang literally out. just conjoined land, no. with, with sometimes a fence and sometimes not. No, mas, senor. You, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't. I do. I cannot believe that Mexico is part of North America. Why? Because that's it's literally what land is shaped like. That's like disrespectful. What? Like you can't. No, we kicked you out of North America. That was the whole point. The whole point of what? The when? Whole, the what whole, are you even talking about right now? Besides Mex just trying to piss people off. You're literally not making a point no, or saying anything that means we, anything. 
We no, I'm talking about the, <laughs> what the fuck I'm, are talking, you about talking, the, I'm about? talking about the Mexican War. Dude. The Mexican War. Yes. When we, Mexico. When the settlers well it's like So whenever somebody the loses a war, they have to get off their continent? Yeah. Boy, somebody better tell that to every European country about every other European country. Oh well, I mean Let's be honest here. If every European country could just become an island, they would do it in a heartbeat. They all hate each other. <laughs> they just scatter to the winds. Hey, Junpei, you think there are any slugs on this ship? What? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salve on them. What's she pointing at? The label states sodium chloride. Oh, Knackle? Knackle. <laughs> When you made that name, did you know how well it was going to fit you later nope. as being the saltiest bitch ever? Nope. <laughs> Your fucking name, Knackle, son of Knackle. But it is why people... Literally, I am salty, descendant of more salt. <laughs> descendant of even stronger salt. <laughs> salt, huh? Whoa. Whoa, that was freaky. That animation would work better if we could see more of her body. <laughs> you think Seven will shrivel up when we put it on him? Hey. You say something? No, never. Knackle, son of knackle. You pay there's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? The label says iron, you bitch. <laughs> iron stands for iron, right? Fucking it says iron. <laughs> You'd be like the worst fucking chemist yeah. ever. Just the worst. <laughs> the worst teacher. Huh? Something stinks. Not even a teacher. You like it's you. Coming, is it coming from this bottle? Is it gonna be sulfur? It says NH3. Well, that that of course stinks. It's ammonia. That's also a primary contender. Why do you guys know so much about the periodic table? Only elements? some of them, though, about some things. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5OH, right? Oh, is it alcohol? Because that's going to be in trouble, though. It's probably literally rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it's ethanol. That's right. It's also known as ethanol alcohol. Ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So, you're going to drink it? Uh. Uh. Nah, I won't. And, uh, it might it might say that's what it is on the label, but it could be anything in there. Probably rubbing alcohol or something. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, wait, Quiz I think time, I'm Andrew. What is the chemical composition of ammonia? HC2? No. N NC2? No. Ammonia? <laughs> hey Junpei! There's dehyd <laughs> dehydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Dihydrogen. Whatever. It's always die. Do you know the dumb joke that's happening here? No. Dihydrogen monoxide? Do you know what that stands for? What the what are you asking me what the elemental letters are for it? Yeah. Uh the H? The H? DM? What does die stand for? What's the prefix die stand for? Nine? No. No. Wait, die? Yeah. Like D I? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, should I know this? What is, yes, you what should. Is? I'm like a little lost here. It's mono, die, try. Oh. Yeah, snake's dead. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so if die is two... Yeah, and snake is dead, it's two. <laughs> so dihydrogen monoxide, what would the chemical be? Two? H? M? I know hydrogen's H, that's all I know. I don't know what monoxide is. I just said mono, di, tri. What does mono stand for? One. So, di, hydrogen, mono, oxide. 
one, two, three. <laughs> or two, or three, two, one. Or two, two, three. So one. the game's probably gonna make fun of seven for being dumb here, but you, <laughs> you'd make the exact same mistake. It's H two O. Water. Oh. It's an ongoing joke. Is that? Oh right, I had your mouth. So, I was thinking of like an ongoing joke right now for like memes and shit is they make to make fun of people like ew don't get chemicals in my stuff when chemicals are literally all over the universe is that they're like look at all the look at all these bad effects caused by dihydrogen monoxide many people have died after drinking dihydrogen monoxide all this stuff when it's like literally like it's just water like it's making fun of scare campaigns they're, they're not wrong water's like super dead water's ever present it's so closely tied to everyone who's ever died it's what a high it? it's 90 percent of your body if you Wa drink yeah. too much you'll die water water is a highly addictive substance it is you, need, you have to have it to once survive once you've had it you can't put it down i don't even think that's an option you are born in it you were born in fucking dihydrogen monoxide like you cannot stop <laughs> Like that's it, it is a problem. It's a dangerous problem. Babies die in dihydrogen monoxide <laughs> constantly. Like <laughs> it is the most deadliest element on the planet, next to oxygen, which kills literally every single life form that ever interacts with it. H two O. H must mean hot, and O probably stands for orphans. <laughs> hot orphans. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh wait, hot two orphans. What the fuck, Seven? What the fuck? I think he's just joking. He's not that stupid. But it's so weird. It's Is so. It? It's like weirdly creepy. I Hot mean, orphans? I, I say stupid shit about orphans. If all the anything, time. it's like. I mean, I would hope that maybe it's just like a weird, like a. Like jumping out of like his memories of the fact that he like was here to save orphans or something. They weren't orphans. They were. No, like, they're, oh, yeah, they're just they kids. They were actually kids that were they're kidnapped. Just, they were actually kids. Unlike fake kids that are orphans. <laughs> well, they're not someone's kids. <laughs> like that, it, that's literally what an orphan is. They're not someone's so H2O. child. <laughs> so H2O is me made of two hot orphans. What the fuck? I like this guy. Seven, is your head okay? What is wrong with him? <laughs>